This is episode 47 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I am your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over idiocy. And today, we're talking about relationships. Not good relationships, bad relationships. This episode is designed to completely flip the script on those bad relationships. You have somebody in your life that you don't care for? Do they ruin your day? Can they make you angry, depressed, sad? What do they do to you? What emotions do they bring out in you? And I kind of addressed this briefly in the podcast about what to do with your anger. What to do, you know, anger, sadness, all that kind of stuff. What do you do with your negative feelings? And this is designed for you to take the power back away from somebody that you have given it to. Now, people do crappy things to each other. There's no denying that. But you are the only one that can give them power over you. They can't make you angry. They can't make you sad. They can't make you pissed off. They can't make you hate. They can't bring out all those ugly feelings and emotions and stuff in you. Only you can do that. And you do that by allowing them to do that. Did you do the crappy thing to you? No. But you're allowing whatever crappy thing they're doing to you to affect you. And this is designed to help you take that power back and flip the script on it. It will make you happier. It will make you healthier. And it will keep you in control of your day and your emotions no matter what anybody has done to you. Like I said, I brought this up before. It's called, in math, it's called the absolute value. Now, math was one of my favorite subjects in school, but I am in no way one of those like math geeky guys. But this concept, the absolute value concept, works amazingly for relationships. Uh, Amazingly. Now, the idea of it is, All you're doing is focusing on your distance from zero. So essentially, if you are a five, if your value is five, that means you're five spaces from zero, which means you could either be a positive five or you could be a negative five. It doesn't matter. You're five away from zero. Your value is five. Now, I think you can kind of see the parallels here. I said positive and I said negative. Yes, we're talking about numbers to describe this, but this is also describing relationships. You have positive relationships and you have negative relationships. The thing that is wonderful about the absolute value and your ability to find the absolute value in all relationships is the bigger the number the bigger the positive number, and the bigger the negative number, the bigger the value. So let's take a great relationship. That value to you is 100. Let's take a really negative relationship whose value is also 100, but it's a negative 100. So how does this work? Because you're taking everything that you learned everything that you have gained, every, every way that you have grown, that's the value that that, relationships, that, that that relationship has added to your life. Can I get an amen? That's kind of a big deal, right? Take your five most positive relationships. Parents, kids, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, coworkers, whoever. Take, take five people that jump out of you first and write down everything that they have taught you because that's like the value really you know what's the what value can you place on something if you're not able to pick out what it's actually taught you so take the get the value for each of these relationships you know taught you kindness and caring or um, 
hard work, cleanliness, health, whatever. Whatever they taught you, write that down and tally it up. And so those are your top five positive relationships. That's the value that they have brought you. Value could range from five to 10 to 20, whatever it is. But those are all positive. So those are easier to kind of grasp onto. Um, you can see them a little bit easier. Sometimes though, with the positive ones, you you take it for granted. I know some people, um, you have positive relationships with people, but instead of the person that kind of sits down and guides you through uh, to learning experiences and, and value, they represent the value and you have to make sure you're paying att- close enough attention to see the value, to see what they're teaching you. I know like for... Um, For my dad, my dad is a leader by example. So he won't necessarily come out unless you directly ask him and say, do this, do this, do this. This is good. This is good. This is bad. Don't do this. But when you look at how he lives and how he approaches things, you can pull tons and tons of value from things that can be applied to my life based on how he lives his life. But again, you got to be in the right mindset. And this episode is all about mindset. So focusing on the positive stuff, the the most positive relationships, you have those set. Now I want you to think of five people that drive you absolutely nuts. Maybe even hate. Hate's an ugly word, but let's keep it real. Find find five people that you hate. If it's more than five, that's great because this is really going to help you. Because if you got more than five people that you hate, that's that's a lot of potential anger and angst and stuff that you're carrying around with you. So this will help alleviate that. So this is when you have to get real. I want you to write down the five people or six people or 10 people, whatever it is, and write out everything that they have done bad to you. Everything that made you sad, everything that made you cry, everything that made you hurt, everything that made you hate them for a day, for multiple days, for weeks still. Every time they ruined your day, write down what what that thing was. And This is for your eyes only, so you you really, really need to be honest here. Whatever it is, however big it is, however small it is, write it out, put it on paper. Because remember, you can't learn from the negative if you deny that it's there. So let's not deny that it's there, write everything out. This may take you a while, so you might want to press pause. So after you do that, I want you to take every single negative thing. Let's do one person at a time. Take every single negative thing and I want you to come up with two or three positives that you can pull from that. And the positive cannot be, uh, I learned that Johnny is an a-hole or I learned that Lucy is an a-hole. We're keeping it positive. What are positive things you can take? This taught me to double check XYZ. This taught me to be more caring. This taught me to be more listening. This taught me to have more drive. This taught me what did it what did you get from it? And the idea here is to recognize that all of these negative people in your life and all their negative things and all their BS and all their ugliness and everything has actually made you better, has made you stronger, has made you smarter, more caring more resilient, without them, without this negativity, you would not be who you are today. And if you don't like who you are today, start with this. Start with the people you felt have harmed you and and held you down and hurt you and find the positives in it. Create the positives now. There's, a, there's always a positive spin to it. What did they teach you? How did they make you stronger? Have you noticed that some of the most successful people and some of the most resilient people are people that had horrible things happen to them when they were younger? Like one of the strongest people in, that I know in my family is, is my grandmother. Well, She lived through World War II and she was in Germany. So she dealt with air raids and bombings and her dad passed away from fighting in the war and they had no money and they had no, I mean, just all these things that you would go, man, how would you live through all that stuff? And she's just one of the strongest, strongest people I know. Why? Because it gave her strength to get through something difficult. It gave her a more 
a, a healthier perspective to get something as terrible as war. So what's your war? What are your battles? And what can you learn from them? A lot of times we don't even really know what's in us until we're tested. And then you go, man, if you would be able to go back in time, you would go, there's no way I'd be able to get through anything like that. But you hear and you did and you did it and you there was something in you that you didn't realize was there either it built up or it was hiding or it just had never gotten stressed and usually the people when you have great relationships those things don't necessarily come out now the best relationships are the ones where it's loving and caring and they can show you help you see all of these positive things and help you get stronger without having to go through hardships but for a lot of us for most of us we had to go through something pretty crappy to find out how tough we were or how strong we were. And that's only through other crappy people. So you find the value that those people have given you. Now, tally everything up. I mean, if you, there's somebody that's really difficult and you're like, you probably have like 25, 50 things that they've done to you that pissed you off. And if you have two or three things for every single thing that they've done, that means you're pushing 50, 75 things that they've given you. you. Their absolute value is a 75. That could be better than a lot of great relationships you have. So then when you look at that person and all that negativity and all their crap and BS and all the stuff that pisses you off, now you can look at them and go, man, you have taught me so much. And you could tell them and they'll go, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Look at you crazy. Because all I am is mean to you. But you have that now. You have that in your heart. You have that in your soul. That this person that used to drive you crazy actually has a very high value in, in your life. Their absolute value is very high because they are very negative. The more negative, the more value they can bring. Because you're learning from your experiences with them. So now you're feeling towards them. You don't have to be hateful. You don't have to despise them. You don't have to ruin your day. They're adding value to your life every time you interact with them and they do something crappy to you because you're going to learn and you're going to get stronger and you're going to get smarter and you're going to get better because of them. I know what you're thinking. If everything negative is a positive, then is it ever really a negative? Exactly. Is it a negative or is it a positive? When you're able to spin everything negative and do positivity, a lot less negative things happen to you. You missed out on that promotion or you missed out on the new job. What did you learn? What is its value? Your parents are sick. They passed away. What did you learn? What's the value that you got from that, from them? He verbally abused me. He physically abused me. She physically abused me. She verbally abused me. What did you learn? What's the value? They were a horrible parent. They hurt me. What did you learn? What's their value? You don't have to hate anymore. You can appreciate their negativity reflecting in you something positive it doesn't have to be a negative relationship anymore you can see its value for what it is not just whether it's a negative or a positive because everything can be a positive if you learn from it all right if you guys have any questions you want to discuss this some more you guys want to share your experience i would love to hear it i would love to do a dual podcast with you people seem to be a little timid on the whole dual podcast thing but remember it Whatever you're going through, there's somebody else going through something very similar to you. And you sharing how you're getting through it or you've gotten through it will help somebody else. So think about the things that you've been through. Every single person listening to this has something important that they've had to go through that they should be sharing to help somebody else go through it. Wouldn't it be talk about a pot talking about an absolute value? What if you can take your negativity and not only add value to you, but add value to somebody else? All you need is Skype 
and all you have to do is tell me what you want to talk about and we can sit down we can do the skype thing and we can create a podcast and we can help people and that's what this is all about i hope you guys are having a great week please subscribe if you have not already please leave a review if you have not already um thank you for listening and i'll talk to you guys soon bye and she was like and he was like and we was like what